Hello everyone, Shrix here. And welcome to part 2 of Minigame Island within Mario Party. Last time we cleared the first two worlds already, not giving us any troubles. Coin block bash not to be mentioned. And we ended off at a split path. We can go north or you can go east. North is actually world 5. You don't have to do world 3 or 4. However, world 5 is a lot harder, I think. World 5 is the ocean themed mini games. And some of these are really annoying <laughs> to clear. Some of the tougher mini games are in here. Or you can choose to go past world 3 and 4. If you go to world 5, you end up at world 6. That's the reason why this one is called 5 and not 4. The path will meet up again. Wherever world 4 ends is also where world 5 ends. So, optional. You don't have to do both of these paths. However, if you want all the rewards, you do have to do both of them, of course. There is, of course, an extra reward for clearing 100%. We're doing in, in, we're doing them in order, world 3 and 4 first, then I'll book it back to this intersection and then we'll go to world 5. But we'll start off with Crazy Cutter in the desert themed world. Right, our goal is to get 80 or more points to clear the game. The exact, exact same as in a normal Crazy Cutter minigame. That's also 80 points required to clear it. I'm not too sure if we've seen the bob -omb yet. There's multiple images that this game can give you. You may have noticed. I'm not too sure which one of them, of all of them are, because Mario Party 2 also has this minigame, and that one uses different images, and I keep mess mixing those two up. But I'm pretty sure we've seen all of them come by by now. This one wasn't perfect, but it should be good enough. Yeah, it was the best even. Even though I think Mario's looks better, but apparently mine was better. I can't say I agree, but I also can't say I'm going to disagree. Because this clear counts. World 3, 2. Buried treasure. That's music to Wario's ears. He loves the buried treasure. Yeah, easy goal here, of course. You clear the game by getting the treasure chest. What else can you do to clear this game? I challenge you to come up with something other than getting the treasure chest. <laughs> Alright, the difficulty should be at normal now for the computer players, so... Where are you? Apparently more over there, because Yoshi has unveiled a sign saying it's over there. There we go! Finish. Making absolutely, absolutely sure that whenever a minigame appears where treasure is involved, Wario ends up with the treasure. Wario gets angry when someone else gets the treasure. Can you guess what this one is? Desert Dash. Easiest minigame in this game. In my opinion. Right, Donkey Kong gets int introduced now. As you may have seen, he doesn't appear whenever a 4 player or 1 versus 3 minigame is in play. Donkey Kong only appears in the 2 vs 2 minigames, or any other character that you pick at the beginning. So he was, he will never be my opponent, he will always be my teammate. And this is the first 2 vs 2 minigame. And we clear the game by winning the race. Surprise, surprise. And I have no doubt about me winning this one. I did learn this playthrough that failing is possible. Yeah, that was deliberate, because I always get a head start. If you get crushed by the thwomp, you always get pushed forward a little bit. It's not like it pushes you back until you're in front of the thwomp again. No, it always pushes you after the thwomp. So even if you end up underneath it, it's still a little bit of a speed boost. That's a trick, a trick I haven't have to use up until this point, but it came up now that I saw, hey, it's going to land on me, I'm still going. Because I'll be a little bit ahead of the other team, and still easily won. Of course I did. Never doubted it, it at all. 
Next we have Tug of War, and Tug of War is a minigun I feared in the past. But with my new control spinning technique, that I haven't been using too long, I haven't lost a single control spinning minigame at all in this entire playthrough, so I'm confident for this one now. Pull the other team off the cliff to clear the game. Not really a surprise. This is a mini game you can only win or lose, so nothing in between. Yeah, you're going in there, not me. Why does this remind me of the re Return of the Jedi? Is there a plant monster in that, in the, the Tatooine scene? That Jabba the Hutt feeds everybody to? This mini game keeps reminding me of that. And it should be the other way around. I know this game longer than I know Star Wars Le The Return of the Jedi, so... <laughs> yeah, it happens the other way around as well. Whenever I watch that movie, I, I get reminded of uh, this minigame. <laughs> yeah, it works both ways. <laughs> right, the final minigame in World 3 is going to be Teetering Towers. Not too sure why this one is here. Could be in World 9 as well, because I think it's more of a sky theme minigame than it is a desert themed minigame, but still. World 9 is the sky themed minigames, by the way. Clear the game by reaching the goal. Good to know in this case, because you might even say, clear the minigame and get all the prizes in between. No, that's not the case here. Even if you miss the coins and the coin back, you still get the win. You only need to clear it. I will go for all the other prizes if I can. It's extra money. Extra lives, in case I need them. I'm not getting the back, apparently. I should have gone the other way for that. But I couldn't see, I only saw the coins. So I went for the coins and assumed the back was after them, but no. Finish. Game was rude, so it's only 12 coins for me instead of 17. 12 coins still gives me a 1-up. Thank you. 18 1-ups now, or 18 extra lives, sorry. Alright, and we reach, reach the end of World 3. No problem at all. Still only one miss. In World 1, nonetheless. <laughs> Alright, we have 14 clears now. And that means we have a 36 to go. As you reach the later worlds, the minigames become more and more difficult. I've already said so. But here is another confirmation of that. Right, next we move into the caves. Where the cave themed mini games are going to take place for World 4. And the first one being. Watch the path directly ahead of us. An ice. track of sorts. What mini game could this be? Could it be. Oh, it's Bobsled Run! <laughs> I knew that. You also knew that. Alright, be the first team across the finish line to clear the game. Mm. Good, you, men you mentioned that game. I couldn't have thought of that myself. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, I lost the start. But no problem. The start is not what it's all about. You can easily gang gain up on the other team. I rarely be I'm rarely the first one that uh, crosses the start, to be honest. I still always end up winning this one. This is another mini game. I can't really m remember ever having lost this one. Not counting the times that I drove off the edge on purpose. I did that a couple of times out of curiosity. Or just uh, when I was screwing around trying to push the other team off and everything. <laughs> Pushing myself off and everything. But playing seriously, I never lost this mini game. I don't think I'm going to start with that today. New record is not happening. Or is it? It is. Below one minute, people! I promised it last time on Bowser's Magma Mountain and it happened! Not that the record gets shown or everything, but I believe it still counts. Doesn't matter. We'll see that later. 4-2. Is it time for me to get scared now? Because I believe this is Skateboard's Camper. It is. 
Well, luckily the difficulty is on normal at this point, so... I should be able to do it now. <laughs> Clear the game by being the first to cross the goal line. Yep, of course it is. The game could be a little bit nice and say... Hey, the finish of this minigame is kinda luck based, so even if you come second or just grab the coin back and live... It also counts, because you can also, uh, of course, get a miss early in this game by just not being fast enough and get thrown into the lava. Because as you can see, the brick road we are going on is falling apart. And Mario is doing a good job of falling in early. <laughs> At least he was trying, but he lived. Alright, I should be able to get this. Yeah, there we go. Even though even now, on the lower difficulty, everybody appeared to be right next to each other. But this time it was me. I'll try to win this on heart at a later point. I'm not too sure. I'm not going to count this one as the true victory of Skateboard Scamper, finally. No, it's on a lower difficulty, I know, but I can't help it. You can't choose the difficulty in here. In Mario Party 2 you can, but not in this one yet. Difficulty just uh, gradually ramps up the further you get. But we have more button mashing, my finger is still a little numb from the button mashing from the last minigame. And what does the game do? Gives us another button mashing minigame right after it. How's that fair for ya? Handcar Havoc. Clear the game by winning the race. Again. There's a lot of race minigames in this Ready? game by the way. Let's see if you can get another new record. DK is back. After we won a race on the, in the bobsled, we now get a minecart race. You need to make sure I steer correctly. I forgot to do it in one turn, but apparently DK did it, because we still didn't uh, fell, fall off. I suddenly realized, oh yeah, you need to steer. <laughs> if you don't lean into the turns, you fall off. <laughs> it almost happened. But it's 2 versus 2, the other team member can also help. No new record this time. But we do get a clear, because we were first. Right. Can you guess what this one is? I think these ghosts can guess what this minigame is. Har, har, har. Ghost guess is up next. A mini game that isn't hard, but you do need to pay close attention because this is definitely failable. If you find the leader, you clear the game. It has happened to me way too many times in the past where I was sure. Oh, that one! And I was too sh and I was too quick about it, and I forgot that sometimes you forget that. Everybody needs to be checked before you think... What? What? See, this is what I mean. I was pretty sure it was that one. The hard thing about this one is you don't have all of them on screen at the same point, so... You need to make sure that whenever you go for a pick that there isn't one on the back side or... One on the back side that you can't see at that moment that is moving earlier, but I'm pretty sure I see it now. Yeah, it's this one. This time I was sure. I jumped the gun last time. Finish. Good example of Clear. even if you sometimes think you're sure, it always ends up being one where you can't truly see the shadow at that point. And then that one moves a little bit earlier, and you don't notice it. Right, this is the point where the paths meet up again. As you can see, that blue space, uh, blue space to the left of me is where World 5 gets its connection to this very space. But World 5 is going to be cleared first before we continue, because continuing from there will take us to World 6. We're doing everything in order. 
So with that I can say this path is cleared and we need to go back all the way over here. Save on this space. And now pick the other path towards world 6, which goes through world 5. Cast the Oasis up first. A minigame I've been successfully playing this entire playthrough, even though I did not play it perfectly every single time. I always played it well enough. In this case, get 30 coins or more to clear the game. 30 coins is something I always gotten I think. I've always ended with 30 or 40 whenever I played this game. And I'm on the edge again. I don't like being on the edge. Alright, first one I get. I always prefer to be in the middle in this minigame. Let's see if I can get you. Yep, I <laughs> barely got it. <laughs> Little pinky. But it counted. And again with the pinky. <laughs> Game is generous today. I really don't deserve these chests. <laughs> Still getting them. I missed one, but I, I don't care. I've already got my 30. <laughs> Funny. Wario wanted the treasure, and even barely getting a treasure counts. <laughs> missed one again. Yeah, I prefer being in the middle. For some reason, I can always see whenever I need to push, start letting go of my uh, hand. Let's call them hands, the reels. A little bit more when I'm in the middle. Both of the middles. It doesn't matter if it's left or right. But if I'm in the left or right edge, I always have trouble indicating when I need to throw. For both the end row and the beginning row. The middle row I never go for. Don't know why. I could do that, but... I never go over the middle row. Next up is... Shy Guy Says, one of my favorite mini-games in this game. It only appeared once. I'm saddened. But we see it again here. Alright, what we need to do here is be the last one standing to clear the game. Obviously, didn't expect anything else. Right, let's concentrate here. This is a mini game that really requires concentration. It's very easy to push a wrong button or push push a button too early. Especially in the case where he tries to trick you like that. By Luigi. Now it's just you and me, Peach. Let's see how long you can hold hang on. Just a fair warning, my dear princess. I rarely make a mistake in this mini game. Both in Mario Party 1 and 2. Even though I'm not the fastest at the times. But I do always make sure it is correct whatever I press. Bye, Peach. Like I said, no way you're winning this from me. <laughs> Always good for a laugh, this minigame. Works even better with human players. This minigame is a real laugh when uh, multiple people play this at the same time. People trying to trick each other and everything. Right, now we have bumper balls. Um, I, I can still do this one. I'm going to cut the video somewhere in World 5. I don't think I can fully clear this one, looking at the time. I don't want to go on too long. Clear the game by being the last one alive. Of course. But I can still do this one. What are you doing, Luigi? <laughs> he almost fell off on his own. Oh. Come on. Someone. Bye, Luigi. No, I don't want to be on the edge. Come on. Thank you, Mario. For helping me get... No, 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 you're not. How rude. You think you can beat me in this minigame, eh? Alright. Show me what you got, man. 
No, not doing too well, by the way. <laughs> oh, there's only 12 seconds left. <laughs> I need to hurry. Come on. Get to the edge. Get off. Get off. A draw doesn't count. I'm not winning this one. Finally, a draw. I've been promising this mini game to almost all the time ends in a draw, and it haven't, hasn't happened a single time in a, in a playthrough. But it finally did. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I think the difficulty is on hard now. I'm pretty sure the, it works that World 1 and 2 are, nor, are easy, 3 and 4 it's normal, and from World 5 it is hard. And of course the one player games don't have a difficulty set setting. Peach, you're annoying. I don't want, I want to go past you, leave me alone. I know you're sad or mad at me for what I did with Shy Guy Says, but come on, I can't even move. Whenever I try to pass her, there we go. Whenever I tried to pass her left or right, she bumped into me again. Oh, now's my chance. Ah, I missed her. Come on. Ah. Come on. This mini game can be so annoying when the still mate happens. If this takes too long, I end up cutting. I don't want uh, this video to be uh, 17 attempts of me trying to get one person off and getting a draw every single time. If this takes too long, I'll just cut the video. Well, that was quick. And there we go. <sighs> this mini game can be so annoying. Thankfully, he made a mistake. And I still got him. I was really counting on another draw here. Alright, with that, I think I'm going to call it here. Next time, we'll continue with World 5. When apparently, Treasure Diver is going to be the next one. See you folks then. Tricks out.